Hello, I'm Wendy Weiger, and this is Word from the Woods. Welcome to my off-the-grid cabin on First Roach Pond, deep in the Maine woods. It is dark and snowy outside, warm and cozy inside, and I'm going to give you a quick overview of the interior of my cabin. I am standing in the loft over the porch, looking down into the main area of the cabin, which is 14 by 21 feet. Sounds small, but doesn't feel small to me. Probably because the cabin is open to the roof. You can see I have knotty pine paneling on the inside. And I have cedar half log siding on the outside with insulation in between. I will be grateful for that insulation over the coming week when temperatures are supposed to drop well below zero Fahrenheit. It will help to keep me warm. I'm just going to give you a quick tour tonight. In future episodes, I'll go into a little more detail about specific areas, such as this one, my kitchen area, and how everything works. But just quickly this evening, you can see over the sink there is a large white object. That's a water urn, which I fill with water that I haul in pails from my pump. There's a little tap on it that gives me a semblance of running water. I have a propane cook stove. And here is my bedroom area. I have a double on double bunk bed. I sleep on the top. The bottom gives me storage space for books and papers. I've got lots of those because I'm a writer. But if a guest comes, I can clear that area off and they can sleep there. I have a closet, which is not that common in backwoods cabins, but comes in very handy and gives me extra storage space on the top. This is my dining table and my living room type area is just below where I'm standing. A couple of very nice comfy glide rockers in front of my wood stove. And it's very pleasant to sit on those well cushioned rockers and glide back and forth in front of the fire on a cold winter night. Now the wood stove provides my heat. You can see there's some wood in a rack next to one of the rockers there. For light, I mostly use propane lights. Uh, there is one over the uh, wood stove. What you're seeing in the foreground there is the flashing of the stove. The stove pipe goes up into that. I have a propane light on each of the four walls. Here you can see the one that's over the bedroom area. I also use some oil lamps and over the holidays I use candles, but they're not very efficient and open flames are dangerous, so I don't use them normally. And I already mentioned I use propane for cooking. So that is the brief tour of my cabin and I look forward to sharing more with you in future episodes. Until then, stay warm.